Well, hello, thank you for joining me today again on the Church History Trail. You're very welcome to the programme. And we're continuing here in Carlingford. And this board says, Church of the Holy Trinity, 13th to the 20th century. This church and graveyard is one of the oldest places of worship and burial in Carlingford. The present building is a result of rebuilding over the centuries. The tower, along with the doorway in the south wall, are medieval. So I'll be able to show you the tower and the, the doorway. This is the wee king here. He says visit the Heritage Centre, but we won't be visiting it today because uh, there's a concert on it. So this is Holy Trinity Church. And Carlingford, of course, is a coastal town in County Louth in Ireland. And the mountain in the background is Slee Foy. I'll be able to show you that. And Carlingford Mountain. You can see the tower there, the medieval tower that the board was talking about. So the town is situated in between the mountain and Carlingford Lock on its southern shore. And the town of Carlingford still retains its medieval layout. Uh, noticeable, of course, by its narrow lanes, small streets and old buildings. Um, there's that many old medieval buildings here. It's, it's incredible. So the town was burnt to the ground by a Scottish force in 1388. And the 1641 rising by the Irish of Ulster the 1649 Cromwellian conquest and also the war of the Williamite and the Jacobites during the 1690s, of course, all took a toll on the local economy here. So these are a few graves from the 18th century. Um, very hard to make out. You, can't, you can read a word here or there, but you can't really make a sentence out. But uh, you can make the date out, which is 1711. But uh, that, uh, very hard to make a sentence out, unfortunately. But you can certainly see the date there. 1711. So great to have these 18th century graves, isn't it? I love the old graves. So this one's the same. It's hard to make out. You can read a few words, but it's hard to make out a sentence. But you can certainly see the date. It's 1730. As you can see. So the wars took their toll here on the local economy. Uh, as recorded, of course, in the journal of Isaac Butler. He said concerning Carlingford Town that it was in a state of ruin by 1744. So there's another gravestone here that I want to show you. This is actually a mass grave. You can see the beautiful scenery here. That's Carlingford Lock. So as I say... The town of Carlingford is actually sandwiched between the mountain and the lock. So this is the mass grave here, the mass burial. It says, here lie the remains of those disturbed during renovations to Holy Trinity Church in 1992. These remains date from the 15th to the 17th centuries. Isn't that incredible? From the 15th to the 17th centuries. My goodness. So this is a mass burial. And there's another grave I want to show you here, which is a flat lying slab, this one here. And this is of a soldier and his wee boy. Well, it's actually a Royal Navy sailor. And it says here, sacred to the memory of John Frederick, the beloved son of Lieutenant Charles Servant, Royal Navy. He departed this life on the 9th of December, 1852, and he was only aged nine years of age. And then his dad, it's also to the memory of Lieutenant Charles Servant, Royal Navy, who departed this mortal life on the 29th day of October, 1859, aged 60 years. Then it says, Jesus said, whoever liveth and believeth in me 
shall never die. That's John 11, verse 27. So he actually died in 1859, the year of the Ulster Revival. Amazing. So I'm going to take you up here and show you the tower and also the uh, the doorway, the medieval tower and doorway. Now, just across the way there, and I have recorded this a while back, that's the old monastery, Carlingford Monastery. So this is the old doorway, the old medieval doorway. You can see the window there, but this is the old doorway. Which is bricked up now, of course. And then this says, Holy Trinity Heritage Centre was officially opened by Her Excellency President Mary Robinson on the 19th of September, 1992. Look at the thickness of the, the walls there. That's certainly not going to blow down. Boy, they don't make buildings like that anymore, sure they don't. As I say, I won't take you in because there's a concert on there today. So this is the, the mountain, Carlingford Mountain. As you can see, the church and the town is sandwiched in between the, the lock and the mountain. That's the medieval tower there. Great to still have this, isn't it? And it looks very good, Nick, for its age. But look at the scenery here, isn't that beautiful? My goodness. Could you imagine looking out your window at that in the morning? Absolutely beautiful. Isn't it? So I'm going to show you a minister's grave here. He was the minister of the church here. And it's this grave here. So that says, In memory of the Reverend Charles Miller, for 10 years he was the vicar of this parish. He was born on the 19th of February. 1807 and he died on the 8th of August 1884 as you can see and then behind it that's his wife it says in memory of I think that's Mary Ann widow of the Reverend Charles Miller born 16th of January 1809 and she died on the 6th of May 1895 So there you go, that was the, the minister who was here. I always like to cover the minister's graves. So you definitely get a good view from the graveyard here. It's a beautiful spot because it's elevated. It's fantastic. So Tom McLean, Positive Belfast, Ponderings of an Irish Presbyterian, get yourselves down here. That there is actually Taft's Castle. And I wanted the video here the last time it was here, but they were working on it. And I'm not going to get video on it today either because they're still working on it. And that there in the background there, that's King John's Castle. So I did do a video the last time I was here. So if you want to see that up close and personal, then uh, check out that video. A 
That's Carlingford Bay. So it's a big thumbs up to Anita because I'll tell you for why. Um, because it was Anita who actually told me about this place. She says, Mark, you'd love Carlingford because there's that many uh, buildings. You can see the castle there again. But there's that many old buildings, Mark, medieval buildings. And she's right, there's that, there's that many buildings here that are medieval. It's steeped in history, there's no doubt about it. So I hope to get doing Taft's Castle in the future, whenever they're finished. Working at it, there's the tower again with the church. And then that building down there, and that's the back of the church, as you can see, and that's the old monastery again. But then this building down here, it's known as Khan House. And it was built in 1727 by William Stannis. And it's a family-run Georgian guest house and restaurant. So there you go, folks. Beautiful scenery. I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching, and God bless.